have the thermal vision, this uh, makes life much easier. You become a magician that finds these birds really quickly. <laughs> My first memories from my childhood, we were invited to count the white storks in a Bulgarian village. Then I have a chance to look through a scope and binoculars. That was the hoop. <laughs> I really get addicted to it. <laughs> I was doing some um, common bird monitoring in my hometown, and this was how I was learning the birds. I really have to wake up really early, especially in summer, sometimes 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the morning to catch this uh, biggest activity of the birds. It's also important to have optics that let you observe the birds from bigger distance and this way you don't make impact on their natural behavior and natural schedule, what they do during the day. I remember driving back from uh, Ventes Ragas uh, ringing station. I was passing this place uh, so many times, but I never thought that so much activity is going on there. It was just something that I only can dream about in the past. I think if we have to imagine going back in time and losing the ability to using uh, thermal vision, it's going to be something like uh, starting using a film camera again. You have the uh, ability to still watch this bird with an old-fashioned way, but it will give you much more challenges and you will not be able to share with your guests uh, the same excitement that you have with the thermal vision devices.